So the first step, accountability or community. The second step, start to be the person um, I think God calls us to be is prayer. The first and foremost, obviously, the highest form of prayer is, is the Holy Mass. So when you can, out, even outside of Sunday, um, where, where, where does your um, schedule permit, it, permit you to, to maybe come to a daily Mass? Um, probably some priests are quicker at celebrating Mass than others. Um, but ask, ask our Lord, where can, can I fit this into my schedule? Can I place you, Lord, in my schedule? The second is through the, I think, the sacrament of reconciliation. We know, our, my sisters and brothers, we know these sacraments we call our efficacious, meaning they, they help us, they give us this grace, they give us hope to be the people we want to be. So throughout the evening, if um, downstairs or maybe even beforehand, feel, so feel free to grab one of these, one of these amazing priests, um, just to simply to hear your confession. Um, these, are really, these are really, really good priests here. The third aspect of prayer, which is, I would invite you to but at the end of the evening, just spend a couple minutes with him. Just share your heart with him. Whatever's been going on in that day, tell him about it. He wants to, he wants to hear about it. Art has always been an interest of mine. It's always been something that's brought me a lot of interior peace and like, yeah, joy. It's just been a huge part of my life forever. Um, and I found that I increased, my interest for the arts increased as I was growing up. Um, and in high school, like an opportunity came up to take studio art, so art class every day. And I jumped on it immediately knowing that yeah, if I wasn't gonna explore this passion now, I might not have a chance to again. Um, so during that time in high school, just started to really like dive into different creative mediums and definitely found that like painting was the most like calming for me. Um, but then once I started undergrad, I was studying art education, so I was gonna be an art teacher and took um, an oil painting class my second year. And once I got into oils, I like never turned back. I just love like the richness of color and you get you can get so much texture um, because like acrylics are kind of more of like a plasticky paint, but oils, you can apply them to be so thick and you can layer so much. You can make them very thick or very thin. Um, so I just felt like it opened up an ability to do a lot more as an artist. As I began to encounter the Lord more in college, I, um, my art and my, the beginning of my prayer life were not mutually exclusive. I very much found that uh, drawing and like doing hand lettering of scripture was the only way I knew how to pray when I first encountered Christ. Um, but then as I was going deeper, I was at a very secular university and studying fine arts in, in an arts college was challenging, where at first I didn't feel like my faith and my art could coexist in the classroom. But um, yeah, in my first oil painting class felt very supported by my professor to truly create like whatever we were inspired to create, that we are more studying the techniques and the medium and like the subject could be up to us. So as I was growing deeper and getting to know Christ, um, yeah, that's when a lot of the inspiration started coming um, and my art became like at times explicitly Catholic. Like it wasn't like undertones. It was just like, no, this is a painting of a rosary. Um, and I will hang this up in a critique in my art class because this is all I want to paint. Um, 
And at times that came with a lot of trials, that came with like pushback from peers or uh, interesting feedback from professors, but um, yeah, I just, I just, it's like what we spoke about with inspiration, like when I, when I receive inspiration from prayer, I can't not create. Um, so yeah, as the inspiration started coming more and more and the graces started flowing, um, it just came very naturally to create a art centered around the faith. And in terms of like making God known, it's, it's truly been something where Christ and I have gotten to know each other more deeply and I've been able to encounter Christ more deeply through creating and then other people possibly seeing Christ in my work is just an additional overflow, but um, overflow of graces. But ultimately like, yes, I create my art to share with the world, but like it truly is like coming from this place of intimate prayer um, and then overflow takes place and I'm even able to share that with other people. But I forgot what the question was. <laughs> but um, essentially like my art, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't put them in two separate boxes, the faith and my art. And as time has gone on, um, I'll just receive, I'll truly just receive an image in prayer, like out of nowhere. And yeah, I just have to create it. So I've had a couple of, a handful of really beautiful experiences where I go into like a painting session and I often either have nothing on the canvas or I only have like some base sketch or colors down and a painting comes out so quickly and you can tell it's completely the Holy Spirit, just like desiring to create. And I just praise God every day that he's given me the gift to like glorify him. Um, yeah, that, that actually took place with like a, the recent painting that I created of the monstrance that's being showcased here is, yeah, um, that was a very fast, that was like a two session painting. Um, it was incredibly fast and that was just like, come Holy Spirit, create what you desire. And this underlying message like came out as I was creating of the colors, like allowing the monstrance to glow. Um, very much were like, was an experience in prayer where I began to understand more deeply that Christ is alive in the Eucharist and like there, his heart burns for us. And that's where like the burning colors come. And that's not like intentional when I create, that's like 100% the Holy Spirit. So. Yeah, I'm very grateful. I know it's like a gift and I just don't, I have not earned it <laughs> at all. Um, so yeah, yeah. Thank you.